one never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. All right, what is going on today, guys? We are back and we're gonna be playing some Fallout 4 today. And we're doing a full completion, which means 100% completion, which means all main quests, all side quests, all that fun kind of stuff. So we're just going to pick a face right now. I'm trying to figure out uh, which one to do. Uh, you, actually, no, no, how do you go back? There we go. I'll just, I'll just use the regular one. I'm not going to go through a whole hour just customizing my face because you're never going to really see it under all the armor anyway. So let's just move on and see what's going on here in our lovely little house we have here. So we have Mr. Handy or Cosworth. Why, why does he have Mr. My bad. All right, thanks. Sugar bombs, 100% daily value. Of daily value is sugar. We don't need sugar. Oh, we got a comic book. Sounds good to me. Got some cigarettes. Got a TV. Nothing really important. I can talk to you. Everyone's gonna love my speech. Hopefully, I don't have to make that speech because. Uh, I'm really nervous about that speech. I'm just kidding. That, that wouldn't make any sense at all because how would I be nervous for a video game? But don't ask too many questions because. Oh, my kid. My child. My child's in the dishwasher. Oh, my, my child is in. Oh, no, my child's over here somewhere. Yeah, I, I, I passed this room like 15 times. I didn't know this was here. Jeez. Oh, this little kid. This is a caterpillar. I'll spin this thing. Hey, he likes that shit. In the future, we still have these fucking crib mobiles, but like we have Mr. Handy or Codsworth, which is a version of Mr. Handy. It does. It just doesn't make. I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't make sense to me. But I don't know. It's just like we have this really futuristic time. We still have this thing from like the forties. All right. Am I supposed to be here? Salesman. What is he selling? He's wearing a nice hat, though. Good morning, Voltec calling. Voltec, what's going on? Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency. I assure you. Oh shit. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected into the local vault. Vault. One eleven. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> oh, I have a feeling that one's gonna fucking happen. Some information. That's all. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. All right, should have had my mic on mute, but what I did is I did four strength, eight endurance, eight agility, because agility for sprinting, you need charisma for speech and barter, you need endurance, so that way you can get the no radiation, and from no radiation from foods, and strength to improve carry weight and damage of melee weapons. That's my build. I don't know if you guys, like, agree with my build or not. Uh, I did play a little bit of a run through before, so that's why I kind of know what kind of build I wanted to do, so... We're gonna go and accept that. That's uh, just All right, bye. Thanks again. 
All right, well, now what else we gotta do? That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. Oh shit, that was slick. That was slick. Good answer. I have my moments. Oh shit, he's crying again. What'd you do, Cosworth? Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. All right. The fuel. I've never seen them fuel them up, so it's kind of weird. Here he is, kid. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. Spin the mobile. I got that. Look at that. It's hey, a cool ass door. I like that. Now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, mom, you should come and see this. Cosworth, what's wrong? Oh shit. What is going on now? Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Okay. Let's go. We're dipping right now. Get the hell out of here. Let's go. Oh, wrong way. Shit, I'm going to die now. Let's go. I kind of don't want to, like, run too far, but they should kind of keep up, right? Yeah, forget it. Yo, this is a nice bike. I want this. Uh, am I going the wrong way? Yes, going the wrong way. Jeez. And I played this before. What am I doing? I'm just... Jeez. Just check his bag. Like, come on. You, know, you check your bag. It's like 15 seconds. And a nuclear bomb's going to drop and just kill you. Oh, let's go. Oh, what's up? We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Yo, they got the power arm. Look at these brotherhood soldiers. Jesus. Well, they're not even brotherhood. They're just soldiers with power armor. It's kind of interesting. I never actually talked to them, so. We're going, we're going. We got this shit. Come on, kids. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god. Oh shit. Yo, we're we gonna go down or we're we just gonna like kinda wait for the bomb to like hit us. Oh god. Oh god. Yo, that was like some accuracy we just had right now. Where am I now? Oh, she's loading. Who are these guys? I've never seen these people before. I don't think I needed to see these people before, but... My friends. Let me out. Everyone, please, step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Sounds good to me. Oh, he's a... He's... Underground. So we just Yes, up the stairs. What is this? There we go. Look at that. Yeah, one of do you guys get a jumpsuit? What now? Just follow the doctor. You guys Alright, forget it. The vaults look really, really good in this game compared to the other games. Well, I'm not saying that they didn't look good, but, like, the detail is ridiculous. Man, it's just, it's just such a different game. It really is. But it has that, it's like, it reminds me a lot of Skyrim in a couple ways. But, um, you know, besides that. Alright, let's get in. Is this one mine? Oh. Hey there. Follow me. I followed you. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Alright. It's on, we're good. Look at that fancy suit we got here. The pod will decontaminate and 
pressurize you before we head deeper in the fog. Just relax. You say that, but that doesn't look like it's gonna happen. I thought it was just supposed to like decontaminate me. It's like freezing me. They definitely just blatantly lied to me about that one. Oh jeez. Initiated. What? Yo, what's going on now? Someone trying to kill me, so I fucked them up right now. I'll just come right out of this frozen vault. I'll kick the shit out of you. That's probably not what's gonna happen, because I can't leave this vault. This vault little contamination thing. Well, there's someone here. Mysterious figure. Who's this other mysterious figure? Why, why are they opening that one and not this one? What? 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 Wait, why are they trying to take my kid, yo? That's not cool. Oh, shit. Yo. They just shot my wife and then they took my kid? Alright, it's kind of like an interesting story, I guess. Yeah, that's not, that's not right. It reminds me of, like, I don't know, I feel like kind of has a similar storyline to Fallout 3 because you have to go find your father. You're finding a person, which is a similarity, but like, it's probably a completely different way of getting there. All right. Wait, can we get out of here now? <laughs> All right, I'm coughing to death. Oh shit, it just fell. Alright, let's get up. Let's unlock the shit. Come on! There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! This one now. Oh god! I'm trying to I'm trying to see here. God. Why would Voltaire do this? Took the wedding ring. And I'll get shot back. I promise. Yo, that's the line right there. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find those guys that killed my wife and took my kid. And we're just gonna kick ass the whole through the whole whole freaking walkthrough right here. So, oh, we can't open this one. This one. That's the right door. Got it. All right. I'm just gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a really long time really through the game. Is I'm gonna search everything, do everything. That's really the point of this walkthrough. Because yes, I've seen other walkthroughs on YouTube. Yeah, just like, all right. I'm just gonna walk through the game to show you the main storyline, but. What's the point of that when you just don't know everything that went on in the game? And it makes it longer and kind of a more exciting season, I think, in my opinion. Season, series, whatever you guys want to call it. Alright, let's go right into the next room. Uh, no, 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 no. It's just like, like ridiculous. Like, look at it's like got the details, like the little... T look at this, you can actually read them, adjusting pressure while door is raised. It's like, that's so cool. I, I appreciate the little things. I really do. Oh, there's rat roaches. Oh, I, I, look at this. Uh, how you feel now? I'm gonna take red roach meat because I can always cook it. Giant roaches. What the hell? All right. Uh, recreation terminal. There's probably nothing on it, right? Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't really have nothing. One else is here. No, no, nothing. Toilet. No, we don't want any of that stuff. All right, on to the next room. What is all this? There's like nothing. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't such a good idea searching all this stuff. All right, we'll just move on. Let's follow the markers. This way. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna pass. Ooh, how you feel now? Oh man, he's, he's done. What? 
What? Oh, they, they definitely advance. They don't just run into you anymore. They actually dodge your shots and stuff. It's kind of some crazy stuff. Let's go. I'll mess you up. I'll mess you up, too. I got a lot of Red Roach meat. There we go. Stem packs. Hell yeah. 10 millimeter pistol. Ooh, it's nice. There we go. Getting somewhere. What happened here? Where is everyone? All right. Uh, anything else so we can search for? Nice. Coming back later for you. That thing is sick. I actually got to come back for that. Uh, what else we got in this room? A dresser. Uh, preserved cigarettes. They'll probably sell for a little bit. Uh, anything else that looks important? Mirror? No. Nothing. No. Oh, I miss a locker. 24 bullets. Now that's definitely going to come in handy. Anything in here? Bobby pin. And that's it. Let's go. Oh. Nah. I, I knew that one. Let's go. Open evacuation tunnel. Alright. It's open. There we go. Oops, just hit my mic. <laughs> so if you heard that little like freaking knocking sound, that was just my mic. Ooh, I'm trying to waste as little ammo as possible. Oh, there we. There goes the not wasting ammo. Jesus. All right. There we go. Take everything. And my voice is sounding a little bit weird. I don't know why. I'm just a little bit sick. I had a little bit of the cold. Of course. As soon as I want to start recording, I get the cold, but it'll go away in, like, the next episode or two, so. All right. Uh, let's see. What else do we have to take? Oh, what the? What? Snuck up on me. What the hell was that? Yo, they're freaking huge now. Look at them. Oh, I'm taking this pit boy. Hell yeah, I am. I wish I would have got the Pip-Boy edition of this game. I could have had my own real Pip-Boy. It would have been so awesome. Look at that. Starting up my Pip-Boy. Look at that. It's got a pistol, nothing really important. Wedding rings worth $250. Uh, I wonder what happens if you keep them throughout the whole game. Don't know. I actually doubt I've never. 14 red roach meat, 11 rads. That's a lot. Okay, let's open this. Alright, so this is where I'm gonna end the first episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching this, and don't forget to tune in next time so you guys can see episode 2.